Right, in my last video I showed how I made this ER40 collet chuck tool post fixture and it's very good for doing slitting saw work on the lathe. And if you saw that video you would have seen that this is very easy to make and um, excellent for slitting saw work. I've since come up with a new design altogether, a bit more complicated to make, but um, this one here is the ER40 collet chuck tool post. And it has several advantages over this one, um, first being that it doesn't actually take up a tool holder. This one goes directly on the um, tool post block on the Myfred ML7 that I made. And this one uh, can be indexed, I've got an indexing ring on the back. So the bar can actually stay locked in the um, collet chuck all the time. Um, for doing that indexing work, uh, so you do one saw cut then turn to the next indent there or the next um, increment there and then lock that one up and do the um, saw cutting and then I've designed it so that the ER40 collet chuck and um, indexing ring assembly can pull out of the actual tool post and go round the other way and this one goes to the front then so that the Allen bolt grips on the steel rather than the um, aluminium ring at the back and it won't mark that and then it goes on the tool post this way round for doing power feed reaming and drilling so it's quite straightforward to make I've just got a block of steel there I had a long piece which I actually put onto the Myford ML7 um, tool post block and I machined it on the block using one of these um, boring heads here and I'll show that in a moment. So obviously the first thing I did with this was drill this um, tool post bolt um, hole um, on my bench drill and got that right. And then I bolted the whole piece of bright mild steel onto the tool post block and machined it on the actual block so that I know that the centre height is dead on for the Myford. And the R40 um, collet chuck that I got for this one uh, was an ER40 to 5C. I uh, sawed off the back end here with an angle grinder and then machined out a bore uh, for this to go in and put this in with Loctite 638. And you can see there that the um, hole at the back there is the largest um, hole for clearance obviously so I can use the um, largest bar in the um, ER40 collet chuck available and then um, obviously I've done this uh, on the lathe as well and I'll show you that and I did a knurl on the back so it's easy to turn from the back. So now I'll show a few scenes of how I made it and then at the end of the video you can see the tool in use.